I just picked up my old grill, my old smoker, and my old chimney from the Alhambra house. And uh, this thing is awesome because the chimney is used to uh, light fires without lighter fluid so you don't get that weird lighter fluid taste in your meat. But I'm really excited today because today is the very first time in my entire life that I will be grilling for my pops. He has never tasted any of my cooking. In fact, anytime I'm gonna cook anything, he thinks the concept of me cooking is fucking ridiculous because he's cooked for me my whole life. And um, when I started cooking in college, I didn't live with him. So he just thinks I'm this baby and I know nothing about the kitchen and let alone know uh, how to grill or work a fire or even have all that dope uh, kitchen utensils that you guys saw from the other vlog on the other day. And the other person I'm gonna be grilling for is Gio's mom and I'm really excited about that too because we always go to Gio's uh, mom and brother's house for uh, these get togethers. And so uh, they're always cooking and grilling all the time and they're always making carne asada. And I always feel bad because they make all kinds of food for us and I feel like I'm freeloading. And so I wanna be able to offer not just food, but also a palate and flavor that they're not used to. So I wanna make Southern barbecue and I'm really excited to uh, be grilling for both of them today. And they're coming over and I have a couple hours to get everything ready before they do come over. The only problem is um, I don't know how I'm gonna get that grill into the house because yes, we have a garage and if we use the garage door, there's only two ways. The first way is walking through the house, but I don't wanna get ash and rust and all that uh, soot in our clean house house. And then the other way though is going through the side door right here where the backyard is. But then there's all these landmines of dog shit. And then I put up that chicken wire fence so that the dogs don't go around and tear up the grass. So I guess the predicament here is either one, bring the grill and smoker through the house, risk getting the couch and everything dirty, or two, bring it through the side gate and uh, risk stepping in dog shit. I think I risk step in dog shit because uh, I'd rather do that because I can always wash that off. I don't want to spill a ton of ash on the floor inside the house. I made up my mind, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but all I have to do is pick up the dog shit first and then just move that over and I don't have to risk stepping in dog shit. I just ran into a problem. Look how nasty this is. All that stuff down there, it's all the old ash that has clumped together because I just left it in the rain because of the way I store it. Ugh, it's all wet. Ugh, so I gotta scoop this out because I have to put charcoal here. This is the bottom of the smoker where I put all the charcoal so all the charcoal could burn the wood to smoke and go up. This is so... Nasty. Ugh. Oh God. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. This is so fucking nasty. <laughs> I should bring that shit back to JK party and have people eat out of that. Oh, my bear's home. It's my bear. My bear. Ma bear. Ma bear. Hi. Hi, bikini. What are you doing? Cleaning out the grill so I could use it. Oh, cool. I told them about rule number one. For what? Which is when working outside, always take your shirt off so you get an even tan. Oh, fuck. Okay, mama. Yeah. I didn't know that was a rule. I never take my shirt off when right. I do it outside. You just look kind of sad, that's all. Oh, I don't, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Maybe Did it's you? hangry face. Fine.
All right, so today is a super cuny day because we're gonna do super cuny activities uh, in our super cuny new house. But it's not just doing super cuny activities in our super cuny house. It's super cuny, super 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 cuny because my mom's coming over and Bart's mom's coming over and Bart's dad's coming over so all of our super cuny uh families are going to be together and it's the first time since we've been married actually that they're going to do this so i'm so excited that they're finally coming to our house and our family is going to cook for them so it's super cuny and i can't wait so papa right now is actually already getting ready for all of it look at this papa bear what are you doing big bozo Right now, I'm getting the chimney started. Chimney? Yeah, this thing's called a chimney. Oh. And it's uh, it's the way to get charcoal started. Yeah. Without using lighter fluid. Yeah. So that you don't get that weird taste in your meat. Yeah. And um, I just rinsed all this stuff down. Ignore the grass on the outside. Yeah, I was about to say it looks a little dirty. that doesn't affect the flavor, but I rinsed everything down, uh, out on the inside. But look at all this stuff. Oh, that's the, that, you want to keep that stuff, oh, that's for good flavor. Ew, but isn't it dirty? We no, haven't no. used it in like a year. Yeah, so <laughs> so what's going to happen is I just uh, did all the, pretty much the major washing. Yeah. Now what I do is I light this, I get a fresh batch of charcoal, I put it in here, and I pretty much bake all the bad stuff in here, and then I scrub it off. Bro. So there's a second process. Okay, I was about to say, I don't I know, know if that's healthy. I know, that's that was funny that I saw you get worried. Fine. That, that's a very uh, mom thing to do. <laughs> oh my god, I took a step right here, and when I stepped on the, the thing, that's how you know we're the first owners. Watch, step on it. It's so soft. Watch, try, try. Is my house soft? slippers. Isn't that soft? Uh, the, now that the first owners, I don't get that. What does that mean? Cause like, you know when you live in a house that's been around for a while? Yeah. Like all the mud and dirt, it's been packed on. Like you've had fucking snot-nosed kids running oh. all over the place, right? But then this place, it's like brand new. And then you can tell because everything is has not been ran over by bratty snot-nosed fucking bitch kids. Got it. Yeah, so as it's sliding this up, it sends uh, the flame up. I put a little paper towel in there, and I'll start smoking. And then uh, then I'm going to put this in here, bake it for maybe like good 10, 15 minutes, scrub it off, ready to start the smoking session. And I just remembered I have to go close the upstairs window because I don't want smoke getting in there. Homeowner problems! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> 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 he made the widest fucking turn. <laughs> I was about to say, holy shit. I think it was his big head that kind of pushed him over. <laughs> so, while well, Papa Bear makes dinner, because y'all know my uncoordinated ass does not cook, but which will change once the baby arrives. I'm definitely going to be cooking a lot more. Um, so, I have already been uh, Pinteresting a bunch of different um, recipes that I want to do but for now I need to put our house in order because everything is all over the place like we have boxes everywhere um, there's furniture that I still haven't built like look at that stuff still there and I can't have Bart's mom Bart's dad, my mom, seeing any of this stuff because they're just going to feel like, ooh, this house is dirty, let's help clean. So I'm going to start cleaning all of this stuff and building all of this stuff so that it looks like we're responsible adult people. Even though we're not even like 90% done here. Like we're about 60% finished with this house. I just transferred the charcoal from the chimney over and it's in here and it's smoking like crazy. So uh, all the charcoal in there, if you could see, the ones that are white, that means it's like really hot. There we go. Uh, those are the hot ones. And I put a brand new layer of black, fresh charcoal so it could burn through there. Then uh, as this whole place starts smoking, then I'll heat up and I'll burn off all the crust that Ma Bear was scared of. And the temperature is rising, which is good. So I'll probably leave it here for a good like 15, 20 minutes. And I'll come back and then I'll scrub off uh, the yucky grill and I'll be ready to throw the ribs in. The ribs actually look really, really good. I changed my recipe a little bit from usual. So uh, usually I have a lot of flavor and a lot of uh, dry rub crusted on there. But because um, 
uh, and I think that's a, a combination of like Kansas and Texas style. But because this is my first time my dad's trying something like this, and probably the first time that uh, Jill's mom is trying something like this, I decided to do just a light layer of rub, and um, and so not season it too much. And I changed some of the seasonings that I use. I put a little bit of cumin in there just to balance out the flavor. And uh, I actually can't wait to see what my dad thinks of this. Did you just smell it yet, Mama? Oh, I smelled it as soon as you opened it. Does it smell good? I changed the recipe a little bit. I cannot tell. Oh, I don't but know. I hope the good. flavor is a little bit lighter because I don't know how your mom's gonna take to like a really strong barbecue. Mm, yeah, I don't know old people flavors. Not that they're old, but they're just older. I don't want you guys. Molly, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I called you old. You're not really old. What are you reading? Uh, this dishwasher. I've never really owned one. So I don't know how to properly load it. That's cuny. You're doing mommy stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's it. The instructions here were the worst. Really? Yeah, because there's so many like little departments. Like obviously I can clearly tell what goes where, right? Like yeah. utensils, like plates and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I was just wondering if there's like an official way to load it. Yeah. Because I just didn't want to fuck up. Can but you wash my pots for me? All of those? Yeah, there's only 10 of them. It's a 10 piece set. Just throw it in there. Just to be ready to use, and also uh, those knives right I, there for me. Just that whole knife set, along with the whatever's in the sink. Can you uh, just throw those in there for me, please? I'm just going based on priority right now, so that might not get washed today. Just putting it out there. Because no, we're not going to use that today, are we? Fine. Are we going to use, because we're going to use plates. Look at stupid Ikea. Oh my God. I know, so I just gave in. I'm going to use whatever's not broken, wash that, so then we can at least eat with that tonight. You don't want to use the paper plates we bought? Um, if we don't have to, I would like not to. It makes it a little bit more official when there's actual like. So this is what called ghetto, huh? That's true. Yeah, that's it. Fine. Like I'm gonna go in the garage and start building more stuff. Oh, that's it. You're just you're not gonna. What happens here? With oh this no, I'm gonna time. Um, so I'm gonna time the the smoker. I'm gonna time it for 20 minutes to burn off all the bad stuff, and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna put the ribs on. Got it. Pablo. Papa. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm building the shelf. Ooh, I see you have two of them already done. You know, I'm actually very proud of myself because of that. What do you mean? So, um, these shelves, Yeah. they're by Uline, right? Yeah. So it's an industrial company and it says you need two people to build it. Yep. But I've been able to build these by myself and I'm getting a hang of it now. Good job. Do you think if and it's not IKEA, it's not IKEA two people, where it's like residential two people, it's commercial two people. So you know it's that much harder. Shit. Yeah, Ulan is the no fuck around uh, industrial stuff, and like all of that are your bullets. So the fact that it's holding, how many pounds do you think is right there? Estimate. Probably like a thousand or more. Holy fuck! And you know these shelves are fucking good. That means you did a great job. You know what the scary thing is though. The shelf, I was reading about it, the shelf capacity is 500. <laughs> oh no! So, we'll see how long it lasts, but so far, the, I check, checked up on it, the wood's not bending or anything. So I don't know, good. but maybe over time. Ooh! What's gonna go, oh, what's gonna go on the upper part? Uh, which upper part? Between the ammo, the green the ammo empty, The empty area. Oh, I have a bunch of parts, so what I'm gonna end up doing to organize my parts, um, I'm gonna get like a little tackle box. Yeah and then put like all my individual parts in so it's like nice and organized. The paw bear does so many paw bear things. The mob bear does so many mob bear things. Cause I, cause I did all. <laughs> cause I did all the duvet covers, all the, <laughs> I just did it. all the decor. Yeah. Assembled like little furniture here and there. And you're doing all the, the paw bear stuff like the grill lamp and the shelving and the, what else did you do? Uh, That's grow, about it. It no, you're gonna set in, up the, the fire pit, the fire pit, our, the backyard, thing. our lawn chair stuff, the backyard thing. Yeah, all this kinds. cutie. Look at all our shoes. We don't have anywhere to put them yet. I know. I bought some of these these clear cases. These are really sick because it's the uh, Dropbox kind. They are where sick. They can stack, and you just go like this. Yeah, that's amazing. Cause the ones I bought, I thought I was next level, right? Yeah. So I got wow t-shirt. So I got all of these. 
because I'm like, cool, I can see all my shoes inside. You but can't drop. Hey, have a drop hey, box. careful. But yeah, it doesn't. I have to pull it out and then I have to lift it this oh, way. Oh, yeah, these so, ones, you don't even have to, you could stack them like crazy. Well, well, I got mine from Ikea, huh? This one's from Iris. These are sick as hell. Fine. Is Iris it? the shoe? Uh, I don't know. No, Iris. Oh. Fine. This CUNY. Where are those going to go? Uh, it's going to go on this shelf, this shelf right here. Good. That's smart. Yeah, so it looks nice. I'll probably end up getting one more of these, probably over there somewhere. What's going to happen in that big space? Nothing. One more shelf doesn't fit there. Well, you said you didn't want this part. To oh, yeah, yeah. I was tricking right you. I was tricking you. So I was I, tricking I'm you. I'm like that because yeah. I know... I know you don't like things blocking. I don't. I love feng shwizzle. Yeah. Even though you're really skinny and beautiful and you can go through the smallest of crevices, you still want. See, I can always tell when you're lying because you never call me skinny and beautiful sincerely. Gross, gross. <laughs> what are you talking about? You love that sexy stuff. Fine, I'm gonna go back inside and keep washing dishes. I'm gonna go back into the kitchen. Fine. package came right in the nick of time. I didn't I pick that one up? You did, you just picked this up today. So this is perfect it's and you gotta wash it. I am. And it's right in the nick of time because this is a rib rack holder. Rib rack. So um, usually the problem is because there's two racks in here. These two are a little bit juicier or these two are a little bit more dried out. And this one, I can fit all four on the same plizane. So now we are ready to actually put the ribs on the bobby because I've been smoking it for a little bit. So now I uh, burned off all the bad stuff. It's just real quick, just real quick. You know, feel me? It's like, oh, tiny oven mitts. Do we have oven mitts, babe? Uh, you don't remember? What? The ones I bought? Where are they? All oh, the bear paw ones? Where are they? In the kitchen. I think he's still looking for the oven mitts. The kitchen is only so big, so I'm pretty sure he'll find it. <gasps> Hummingbird! Where is it? Oh, it took off. Hey, someone stole them! Where you are can't they? find them? Where are they? Someone stole them. There's The kitchen's only so big. I went through everything. Exactly. Exactly. I found them. I found them. Fine. Bear paw of them. It's baby, baby. Fine, you were the other one. For what? I'm vlogging. Okay, fine. But all I gotta I do can't. is go like this. Bam, bam, bam. If I had an onion or if I was gonna grill directly on the grill, I would put it on there, but since all I'm doing is smoking, I ain't got to really worry about all that. All that jazz. That's pretty much, pretty much a man's cleanliness. Ew, you just put it on the floor like that? Yeah, this Are is- Are you going to wash it after? This is grill style. You're so gross. So I take that, put it here. And then take this, this is the second one. Oh my god, it just fell down! What the fucking... Watch out, it's hot. Oh, okay. okay. Bam. So oh, now. you just dirtied it. It's a real bell. I know, but it's supposed to be for CUNY Kitchen. Fine. I thought you had your mitts. I do, fine. No! Don't wet it. I'm not gonna wet it, duh goes in the pocket mm. now I have to put this is a uh, this is what keeps the smoke nice and nice and uh, moist as a little uh... Ooh, shit, my okay, there go. I'm filling up the water bath to prepare the smoker 
Oh, fuck, it's too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Too strong. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting the other side. What if someone's over there? I know. Okay, too strong. Put it down. See, this is why grilling is a man's job. You see that? Cause you got I don't know why. It's the stupidest shit ever. Grilling? No, it's not. It's men doing grilling. See? Nice and gentle. Bring it back. Hey, what happens after this? Then, I'm gonna put the grill on top which I'll do in a just about now. So I'll put this, put the glove back on, homie. Just one? Here. I only need one. Bam, put that one on. Bam, and then the second, the second one, and bam, like that. Like that, and uh, all new things should be cleaned. So I'm gonna clean it right here. Bam, bam, like that. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. That's a rinse. Nice and clean, beautiful, and then dried. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? And then put a right her, and then. Right there. Oh yeah. Look at the buttes. Do you see the buttes? Yeah. Look at the motherfucking buttes. Hey. Damn. Hmm, smells great. Look at these buttes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Beaute. Look at this. Each one, perfect specimen. Beautiful. Vile. And. Beautiful. And. Don't forget about the juices. This one looked like it could use a little bit. This one looked like it could use a little bit. Just a little bit of juice. There's, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of juice, feel me? A little bit of juice here and there. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Put that right there. It smells pretty damn good. Does it? Yeah. Wash my hands real quick. You know what's crazy? This is what your nipple's gonna look like when you're breastfeeding. I heard it comes out like a shower head. Do you believe it? No. It doesn't come out like this. It comes out like this, I heard. Fine. And then? Okay. Bam! Like this, and then throw in the magic. A little bit of smoke of the smoke. Mmm, hickory. Smell it. I can just smell your spices. Oh, fine. Or maybe my nose isn't in tuned. No, it's probably the spices are pretty strong. Oh. So just throw a handful of these bad boys in there. Like, ta -da. That's it. And then, one more. I'll put a little bit more. And then. Let me smell these. Oh, this one? Oh, I might just smell the spices again. Damn it, I think I just smell your hands. Bam. Just throw it off on the side, feel me? Like that. And. Put a little bit more in, maybe. In there. Bam. And we are ready to rock and roll. See you in an hour. That's it? Just one hour? Mm hmm. Oh, an hour? And then I gotta put some, uh, I baste it with some sauces, and then another hour and another hour. 
and then to the loop motherfucker. So right now, um, I've been smoking the ribs for about two hours, Ooh. and now it's time to sweat it. This is what I did. And my mom's asking me, did I make it? And I was like, yeah, I did. She's like, what? That's crazy. Wow. So now I have to uh, sweat it, which means I'm going to put some butter, honey, and mustard, wrap it in foil, and then throw it on the smoker for one more hour, and it should come out pretty good. My mom says, did you make it from the morning? I don't know. It's about 2 o'clock. From 2 o'clock. Oh, that's too fast. Yeah. Yeah. This is all asked pretty fast, I was like, yup. Pretty fast. Who uh, A couple of friends. Couple friends, friends, internet, practice. Yeah. Do you know where my trash can is? Trash can? Yeah. This Yeah. It's right here, it's secret, look. <laughs> See, this house is very convenient. Oh. Oh, huh. I don't know if my mom's impressed or not. Oh, look at her eyes. Ooh. She's looking around. It's the Asian mom Ooh. scanning around, looking for some shit to talk. Trying to talk some shit. Look at that face. You know, you, you ain't a true Asian parent unless you talk some shit. Look at, look at, look at. She's like, there it is. <laughs> Cause I'm not yet. Anything that ugly, bad? No, I said that what? I met for the uh, when I first time. I just been here uh, in the office, right? In the table here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your dad's asking for it. He went inside the garage. No. Hope meatloaf doesn't go nuts. Do I sit down on the couch? Huh? Watch TV? No. Do go to the mina? Where she ask? She goes, uh, where do the doggies live? I oh. Said, oh, they live inside. They sleep where she was uh, standing. They usually sleep in that side. So you sit in that side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> took a shower, we're able to relax. But we are dead. We are dead. But how did you feel? Mm. Did you feel that was a successful family get together? Yeah, I think it was awesome. This was the very first time in our entire relationship um, of eight years. Going on nine. Going on nine, that I've seen both of your parents coexist in the same room. I, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, they coexisted in the same room because when we got married, they were never in the same room. No, they're separate. They made sure that they were like as far apart from each other as possible. Yeah. Um, and it was also one of the first times since we've been together that both of our families kicked it. Yeah. Like they hung out. And I'm really happy because that was one of the biggest goals of getting this house is like we're kind of like the younger because you have two older brothers and sisters that we're always kind of like going and doing their thing even though we're full grown adults we've never been able to kind of have people come over and enjoy our thing yeah and so I'm like this is really really cool yeah we, we got we were able to do that and your brother and your sister-in-law and your mom and my mom and my dad were all able to come over that was cool yeah. I didn't know how it was gonna be because your dad doesn't speak English um, or if it's like he only speaks 2% English out of like 
hundred percent that we could speak. He speaks like very little. Yeah. And then your mom's English was, it was it was good, um, but I think she spent a year out in Taiwan taking care of her mom, your grandma. Yeah. She forgot a lot of it. Like yeah. trying to talk to her now, it's really hard. Yeah. Um. So I was kind of like, how is that gonna play out? Like, what's that dynamic gonna be like? But it was really cool because um, this was the first time that your mom met my sister-in-law. And as soon as she saw her, your mom was so sweet. She was, oh, hi! She went like that. And I'm like, wait, have you guys met before? She's like, no, I've never met her. But like, the way your <laughs> mom, mom. Yeah, the way she made her feel was really nice. Like, like my mom, to us, to, to my sister-in-law, your mom is the outsider. Yeah. Because nobody knows her. Yeah, yeah. But then the fact that she made it like, welcome to my house and welcome to the family was really cool to see. Yeah. I was really happy too with the barbecue. Yeah. Because that was one thing that was really important to me. It was kind of like the centerpiece of this whole get together. And um, I was surprised, but my dad really liked it. Woohoo! He was like, I was like, is it good? And he was like, He and, never says that. He always that, says it's, it's all right. And that in Asian dad language is, that is fucking good because he didn't he, want to take any home i know but that's just him and then i was also happy that your brother really liked it too my brother liked your cooking and he liked your dad's shrimp oh really yeah he he took some home awesome. he took the whole thing home that's awesome yeah he got like seconds and thirds i think that's awesome yeah yeah i was really happy because i was like man i've been wanting to cook for your brother your brother always cooks for us and your mom always cooks for us and i'm like man i'm never able to like repay them you know yeah. and all the stuff that i like to cook i have to prepare at my house yeah and if i bring it over it's not as good so it's one of those things where if i'm not cooking at my house i'm never gonna be able to cook for them and i was able to that's cook. cute yeah. good job are you playing with your balls as you're talking to them no i'm not oh fine because no. he always has his hand down his pants like so a real like... man like a real man you know what i mean hey 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 <laughs> Well, yeah. cool. Yeah, I but think we did a good job. I think we did. And now everything is settled down. The entire downstairs is clean. Feels really nice. It I really does. liked our first get together. You know, my, my thumb, it hurts like crazy now, though. Because, um, you know, how I was building that dining table. So as I was spinning, oh, I was sorry. spinning like constantly. So there's like probably oh, like sorry. 10 or 20, no, 10 to like 15 screws that per chair <laughs> times oh. four chairs. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a big flat uh, blister here. Because oh. even when I was just like uh, scrubbing my head, it started hurting. Sorry. We'll okay. show you all that stuff tomorrow. Yeah. But we had a really, really good family get together. Our first one at this house. And my dad loved the ribs. And Jill's brother loved the ribs. So that was awesome. Good night. Good night. <laughs>